actually, we thought about the idea many, many years ago, but there weren't any farms open and we didn't know anything more about it. So once we opened up our ice cream parlour in 2010, we felt that it was a good time to actually open the farm to the general public so they could see what we uh, have to offer. Now, we've got Jersey cows on the farm, we've got 125 and have had since 1925. We've always dealt with the public in one way or another. I just felt there was a lot of misconceptions about what farmers were doing and what, what they were um, producing. So I think it was a, a combination of factors. The fact that we got the ice cream parlour, we were producing ice cream from the milk from our Jersey herd, it really led us down the road of saying, all right, this year, we're going to open up our farm to the wider public. And I think the first year we had six or 700 people through the doors. Um, it was very much a, a long process for us to to work out what was the best. What, what did the general public want to see? And because we've never done one of these events before, we maybe made the first one a little bit too complicated. So I think what we should have done in hindsight is, is made it simpler. So really the planning of this uh, it starts actually with the last event. And if you're doing the event for the first time, don't get worried, there's a lot of backup for you with LEAF and with all the, all the promotions that's going on. So we really have a quick count up of how many people, I think we had 1,100 people through the doors last year. How did it go? What went well? What was poor? Obviously the weather has a big impact, but it's surprising how you still get customers there, even if the weather isn't as good. And people get stuck in the field, so we pull them out with the tractor, and that's half the fun, I think, for half of them. They're doing something they're not used to doing. Um, so really, planning probably starts um, at the beginning of May, which is a route around the farm, and that's a route we concentrate on. So really just, just clean a certain route through the farm buildings. The rest of the farm is normally reasonably tidy, and we're very lucky that we have to a clean yard where the customers park and a dirty yard where we can move the tractors and trailers around. So it, it does take a little bit of organising. The more people you have, the better it is. And if you can get the wider farming community engaged with you to help you on your events, and they don't have to talk about your farm, you just have to talk about how, how far food is produced and how customers can see what we're doing. So involve the National Farmers Union you can get in other farmers from the local area to tell a different story because it's all about telling a story of what is produced, how we as British farmers produce it and what it ends up in the supermarket for the customer. Uh, the planning and organisation is really done between the owners, Tom and myself and Lucinda, Tom's wife who runs and manages the ice cream parlour. So she's probably the brains behind the organisation. Tom and I are very much hands-on outside. But the parlour's got to run with the farm on the open farm on Sunday. So really it's a farm event, but the background is the ice cream parlour. Well, this is what we produce. So regular meetings throughout the year, I mean, we meet every month regardless, and topics come up like, okay, we've got open farm Sunday in June, and what do we need to do for that? Well, because we've now done it for four or five years, we really know what we've done. How did it go last year? What do we need to do? Um, and it's very much staff orientated as well. So we try and educate the staff so that if there are questions raised by customers on the milk, the ice cream, on the dairy cows, then at least the, the, the customers can get that information from the staff. But also the staff are pointing customers who have maybe a trickier question in the right direction of Tom or myself or Chris or any of the other farmers we manage to get involved so that they can give a more detailed answer. So they need the full team effort from the whole farm. We've got to make sure things are safe and clean for customers. There aren't any surprises for customers. And at the end of the day, we do always have, or generally seem to have cows calving at the time that we've got Open Farm Sunday, which makes it so much more interesting for the general public and also for the small children who love to see this sort of thing.